These don't appear to be appearing in any given order. They're just going like, ju 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 ju. I'm going at random. Two, three. Uh, is it like based on where I am on the screen or something? Because that's more reasonable than tiny times, but I don't know what's happening. Okay. Okay, then it's gonna be- Ah, that's too much for my brain to process. I wish I would have gotten the item jet. Stupid Dr. White bogarting all the items. Okay, and now this is worse than Ice Man stage because it doesn't do it to a constant beat. It's like doo doo. Doo 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 doo. Uh, I mean, that wouldn't be so bad in and of itself, but I have to... I... <laughs> that was a weird noise I made, but... What was that? I don't know. I missed the... Magnet beam. Whoops, that's actually what it's called. What? I don't like this very much. I wish I had an item that could skip it. I mean, everyone knows at this point... I'm not lying about the blind run, this is my first time through this level, and I'm obviously going to fall in the lava at some point, and have to do this all over again. Oh well, better... No, I have no idea what's better about anything happening here. And... That's like, screw you if you don't jump immediately. By the time I get back there again, I've forgotten the pattern. Ah! This isn't very well synced up. I think it's broken. Do, do. No? Okay, but whatever. Why is it doing that, though? It's not helpful to me. I don't even see how it would be helpful to me if I was already up there. This isn't pissing me off as much as the Iceman level, though, probably because this level looks less ugly and it has better music or something. Okay, cool, cool. Not so cool. And what do I do after that? I go up there and then blah 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 blah, and that's not so bad since they don't all disappear on me before I can see where I'm supposed to jump next, I hope. <sighs> this would still be a lot easier if I had item number whatever. One jump is the only hard part, of course. Doesn't really matter if the hard part's at the start. Of course, it really wouldn't matter where it is in the sequence. And it's actually good that this is not over lava. Okay, I was supposed to jump that away. I didn't remember that, considering it's been like five years since I last got over there. I will speed this up if I have to do this again, but you are watching my first run through it because... I mean, not enough people are watching this to make me think people are going to be whining that I'm not doing it perfectly like they do in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, since that's like the world's most popular game. By now, you've probably seen a Let's Play of Mega Man 2 if you're interested in Mega Man and Let's Plays, so this is pretty much for people who specifically have some kind of pathos about my running through of it. Oh, this is wondrous. I really don't know why this isn't pissing me off all that one in Iceman stage is. Maybe it's because Iceman stage wasn't about the actual blocks. Okay, I I thought the last time I looked at that I managed to survive that. Or, or it like was on screen for a half second before the other thing was and I missed my metal blade. And oh boy, I have to do that whole deal over again. That's great. Not that this part was actually hard. Uh, those blocks look too much like Mario's, or, or, yes, Mario's, Mario blocks. Are they, sub is this like a subconscious attack, or not attack, but like a subliminal advertising against Mario games or something? Even though they were on the same console and it wouldn't make sense to pit Mega Man against Mario. And why wasn't Mega Man in Brawl? I accept completely by now that he really was like better than 90% of the characters that did get in. Whoops. I mean, 
it's not really video game all-stars, it's more like select Nintendo series all-stars, except we aren't going to give series enough character or series characters based on how many good characters they have in them. I don't remember this part, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, was that a okay. This is entirely too long. I'm glad it's what? What's, oh, that, uh, I maintain that the ch this game relies way too much on challenge from people not knowing what to expect. I mean, I'm not gonna remember. I'm thinking I might put this level off until I get the cheating thing. Okay, I guess my subconscious did that for me with my little slip of the control pad there. Well, that wasn't overly productive, but honestly... You saw me have wacky blind runs on it. I want to see Crash Man. He looks weird. What is he supposed to be? A drill or what kind of ability is Crash? Is he gonna like flip upside down and then kill everything on screen? Oop. Well, I can't believe I evaded that, but okay. This level is not being very difficult difficult right now, and I like this music. Okay, these are... Oh, okay, yes, I've heard this music a lot before and I didn't know what it was from, and I guess it's from this. Okay, cool. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better about life in general. I hate it when there are songs and I don't know where they're from, and I like how they're just spawning out of nowhere. I should probably have my metal blade out. Doo-doo. Okay. You guys don't know how much joy it brings me to actually know where this song is from because it sounds like some Mario Kart song and I was thinking like, well, is this a Mario Kart song? But it turns out it's actually this. That is a huge load off my shoulders and wow, this level even sort of reminds me of Mario because there were these things in Mario World. And these things are almost hard except the Metal Blade removes any possibility of a challenge they might have had otherwise. <laughs> oh, clouds? Didn't think I was outside. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Okay, Death Star there. I'm glad to see they haven't... I mean, they were in the start, I just didn't comment on them. But I'm glad to see they've survived since... Bomb Man stage, and I don't know what the point of that is, I guess, to fall on if there's, like, some wacky trap up here. I probably should say wacky normally sometimes, because it's a bit weird when I accentuate the non-existent H each time I say it. Oh well. What is this, the end of the first level of Super Mario 2? I remember two vines next to each other. What's the point of this level? Is it to be not very interesting, because that's what it seems to be doing so far, and I wish one of those would have dropped to health, but oh well. Okay, is this like a choose your path thing, and only one path leads to victory, or E-tanks, or something? Because I don't like that. I like... Okay, cool, I forgot if I got a game over or not. Okay, that leads to a health, and that leads to a turret guy, who is a dead turret guy now. And those things are not shy about giving me ammo, which I don't need. Well, I guess I needed it, but I didn't really want it as much as I wanted health. And I'm aware I could have gotten that health. And... Ooh, do I want to do it? Nah, I mean, that one stage had a E-tank at the front that I can just grind over and over, and there's extra life too. And self-winding propeller bots or something, I don't even... Okay, it should have occurred to me that they were going to continue reappearing over and 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 over. I still like this music, and um, I should probably take the path to the one up now that I know which one it is. What an entertaining level the second time through, or segment, or part of the level, or segment of a part of the level. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I'm amazing. I didn't think I would ever successfully dodge one of those shots, but I did. Basic competency at platformers sort of amazes me sometimes. I think it was like the one to the very far 
left. Maybe it was to the less very far left. And I don't like those eggs. They have too many things in them. It's almost as if they were, heh <laughs> giant. Um, okay, it wasn't the one to the very far left, but it doesn't punish me at all for going on the wrong one, except that I get to jump a little bit and speed things up. And okay, this is a harder path to take because of that guy, except not. And those birds, except not. And no, wait, that was for the E-Tank, my bad. Geronimo. He seems to drop, like, slightly less of a rock in this game. Maybe it's just because there's not annoying parts that keep knocking me off ladders, and wow, that was a lot of backtracking for an E-Tank. Whoops. 